Hi yo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of change. Um, it's also a card showing it's like needing to release control. Um, something is happening here, and it's it's happening in divine timing. It's like it's it's sudden, it's unexpected, but it's it's positive. It's like a blessing. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Eight of Swords air energy. So you could feel a bit uncomfortable when this change occurs. It looks as if a commitment is coming to an end so that a new commitment can, can come into place. Because with the Death card, it's like something is, is ending. And then with the Hierophant, it's like something, a higher level of commitment is replacing whatever is dying. And it can feel jarring. With the Eight of Swords, this could actually put you in your head. It could feel like it's giving you anxiety. It feels like you're, you you have no control over the situation. But ultimately, it's it's like a blessing in disguise or it's for your, your highest good. Because it looks like it's leading you to fulfillment. Spiritual, emotional, practical fulfillment with the Hierophant here. And a lesson being learned here is like, it's, it's a bit karmic in nature here. But there's a, a message here about needing to surrender control because... It's happening for you, not to you. There's an energy of something shifting. Okay, so it could be that you were in a connection where um, it it's like if the universe didn't end it, you wouldn't have done it. It's something about it being, it's like it needed to change. It could have been unhealthy or, you know, it could have been holding you back in some way. So it looks like something that's not serving you is falling away, whether you like it or not, so that something better can take its place. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So you are being led to your stability, abundance, something safe is coming in, a commitment that you can actually rely on, something that will, will actually make you feel stable. And it looks like the process to getting there is a bit uncertain, like with the Eight of Swords, it's it could be just out of your comfort zone, but it, it's, it's going to be stable, it's going to be something that, it's something you want here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. And the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So yeah, it looks like you're moving towards stability, security, um, abundance, spiritual and financial material abundance. You you are moving towards this. But it again, it's requiring something else to end first. Okay, so... With the Hermit, there is also an energy of introspection, growing, spiritual growth is taking place here. Um, you could be forced to go within at this time. There could be some shadow work that's also taking place during this transition. But there is, it's like you'll be feeling a little bit like a beginner, like you are, you know, in a new territory, um, the Page of Pentacles. But it, it looks like it's something that it's like this new beginning is one that will really have a big return on investment because it's like taking one pentacle and then having 10. So it looks like it's something that will be worth it, but it may require, it may be a bit challenging for you mentally because it is requiring you to kind of um, overcome certain limiting beliefs um, and to step out of your comfort zone. And that can be a bit challenging and even scary for some sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Leo. Okay, so 
So we have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Definitely something negative in your life is leaving your life. There's major transformation energy here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so you could be detaching from someone here someone who was kind of holding you back they were unhealthy or the attachment you had to them was it was overwhelming and it wasn't uh you know it, it wasn't everything you wanted it to be because there's this energy of ten of pentacles that comes after you release this so it looks like someone or an attachment or a style of relating is coming to an end okay so i'm gonna put another card for you we have daffodil rebirth and new beginnings new beginnings are often disguised as painful endings okay so there's that message again there's something new coming in but it does require something else to end okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice leo we have surrendered to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you so there's again this message about you know kind of surrendering control letting the universe take its take the wheel there's that energy here okay so that's what i'm seeing for you leo i hope you have a really really good day leo bye leo